Well, there are four in all in. In fact, this one right here that I'm told can protect up to 1,600 people. Well, 10 years ago, when that EF4 tornado blew right through Pratt City, these shelters did not exist. And now there's one local family that hopes its heartbreaking loss is a warning to us all. It was around dinner time on April 27, 2011, when Sheila Hurd spoke to her mother, Bessie Brewster, about bad weather headed straight for Birmingham. She had been up to my grandmother's house and getting her rid and telling her where to go, you know, in case the weather got bad and all. That was the last time Heard would hear her mother's voice. One of my church members, he called and um, he was telling us that her house was gone. And so we didn't know what had happened. The 72 year old Brewster was found in debris blown across the street. Birmingham's only casualty during the destructive storm. Her daughter says there was no safe place in her home to hide from the storm's wrath. The only thing that was left of her house were the cinder blocks. So it blew everything away. Since that deadly day, four storm shelters were built only minutes from where Brewster's home once stood. I think it's safer with the tornado shelters, especially because that gives people, you know, a place to go that don't have basements and stuff in, in their house. Now with a life endangering day looming tomorrow. Listen to the weather forecast for one thing and to uh, be prepared. And if you live close to a shelter, take advantage of the shelter. Heard and her family hope you heed their warning before it's too late. Now the four uh, shelters in the Pratt City area are here at Smithfield Estates, Sandusky, Pratt Park, and over at Southampton Elementary School. I'm told by the Birmingham Fire Department they will open tomorrow once a tornado watch is issued. Live in Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.